Hi boys and girls, I'm here to read you Franklin and the Thunderstorm and this is by Paulette Burgess and Brenda Clark. And it looks like it was written by Paulette Burgess and the illustrations, so the pictures are by Brenda Clark. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could name the months of the year and all the seasons. He could read the thermometer and he checked the barometer every day. Franklin worried about the weather because he was afraid of storms. So make sure you know what does thermometer mean and what is a barometer. We've been talking about that in science, so hopefully we remember what that means. And here's a picture of Franklin looking at the thermometer. One day Franklin was supposed to play at Fox's house, but the sky was getting dark and the clouds were thick. Maybe I shouldn't go, Franklin said to his mother. She looked out the window. It probably won't rain until later, she said. You have time to get to Fox's. Franklin put on his boots and took the umbrella. As Franklin hurried to Fox's house, he kept looking at the sky. The clouds moved quickly and wind swirled dirt in the air. Franklin felt all jumpy inside. And I can tell in this picture how windy it is because you can see the trees blowing in the wind and the flowers. Look at the dark clouds. Fox was playing outside when Franklin arrived. Franklin pointed nervously to the sky. I think we should go inside, don't you? He asked. Not yet, Fox grinned. I love watching the clouds move and feeling the wind blow. It's exciting. I think it's scary, said Franklin. Beaver, snail, and hawk came over to play too. My fur feels funny when it's about to storm, said Fox. My feathers get all ruffled, said hawk. Beaver sniffed. I can smell a storm coming. Ooh, looks like it's starting to rain. The wind became stronger. Hawk flew loop the loops. Whee! he cried. Franklin had held on to his hat and shivered. It was almost as dark as night when big fat raindrops began to fall. We should go in, shouted Franklin. No, said Fox. Follow me. They raced to the treehouse where it was dry. Fox, called his mother. Time for everyone to come in. It's all right, Fox shouted back. We're in the tree. Fox's mother was there in a second. It's dangerous to be near a tree during a storm, she said. Lightning strikes tall things first and you might get hurt. Well, it looks like they all got back safely into the house. Franklin held on to Fox's mother all the way from the tree to the house. They were barely in the door when there was a flash of zigzag light. Lightning, shrieked Franklin. He trembled. Kaboom! Thunder, he screamed. It's okay, Franklin, said his friends. We're safe here. But Franklin had crawled deep inside his shell. Fox's mother brought treats. Still, Franklin wouldn't come out. Franklin's friends begged him to play, but Franklin stayed put. You can, still, you can still see him hiding in his shell here. They all look worried for him. Then with a flash and a crash, the lights went out. Don't worry, said Fox's mother. She lit candles and turned on a flashlight. Won't you come out now, she asked Franklin. 
No, thank you, he mumbled. Well, at least he was kind and said no thank you. Oh, he's still hiding in his shell. I wonder if they're going to be able to get him to come out. Looks like they did. Don't be afraid, said Hawk. All that noise is just cloud giants playing drums in the sky. Franklin peeked out. Really? he asked. No, it's not, giggled Snail. That noise is made when the giants go bowling. <laughs> I like that illustration. Franklin came out of his shell. But what about the lightning? That's easy, said Hawk. The cloud giants are turning their lights on and off. Fox smiled. I think it's the giants swinging from their chandeliers. Franklin laughed. They're being such, such kind friends trying to cheer him up. Giants? That's ridiculous, said Beaver. Mr. Owl says lightning is a big spark of electricity that travels from the sky to the ground. The spark is so hot that it makes the air around it pop. That's the sound of thunder. Amazing, said Franklin. Franklin felt a little better. He even played flashlight tag with his friends. Soon there was hardly any lightning. The thunder was a low rumble from far away, and the rain stopped. Then the lights went on. Storm's over, said Fox. Let's go outside and play. Look, said Franklin, a rainbow. <laughs> I know why the storm is over, Franklin said. Those giants heard there's a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow. And they've gone to find it. Even Beaver had to smile. I hope you enjoyed that book. I know that I did. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.